Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Here we are going on to tutorial number three of the Bejeweled Temptation palette. It's been about maybe a month, month and a half since I recorded a video, but <coughs> getting a little bit better. I think the first two tutorials I definitely dipped into I know it's the Amethyst Noir, Amethyst Noir, Amethyst Noir, the Coral Nectar, this looks beautiful shift. Um, yeah, I think that's about it so far. Oh, I did do the gold, which was cute. But this gold kind of reminded me from the gold from, I think a look I did from the Utopian Dream, which will be starting to drop at the beginning of March. Um. Yeah, like I said in the last video, everything's looking a little redundant. It's all been done before. But today, I think I want to do kind of like a smoky moment with this bronze. Smoldering bronze, maybe. Or the garnet. I think I did a garnet look with the Bordeaux Bliss. I don't remember. Everything's starting to blur. Um, yeah, we're going to figure something out. Yes, we are. Let me go prep my eyes with the uh, Pro Filter Eyeshadow Primer from Fenty Beauty. And I think today I'm going to continue using the Dior Skin Glow for foundation. Um, I'm still waking up. I just shaved and I'm starting to break out a little bit. And I think for bronzer and blush, we will keep in the theme of Pat McGrath. I actually might use the blush from here. Maybe we shall see. But without further ado, let me go get my face ready. All right, so eyes are prepped with the eyeshadow Pro Filter Fenty Beauty, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Eyeshadow Primer. There we go. I hope they are looking like twins. Like I said, it's been like a month and a half. <clears throat> and it's also weird like getting back into talking to the camera again. But first and foremost, I am thinking of going in with Coral Nectar first. Yep, Coral Nectar for the brow bone highlight. But, oh. This iridescent pinky peach ness that is going on with this shadow, I just cannot get over. Like that just um, does it do it justice, whatever. That on the brow bone, so we already have the brow bone highlight on. And I'm actually doing this video now after the drop of the Heart's Desire collection, which is <laughs> Right here, right here, and right here. Oh, and the Galactic Glow is actually right here. So I got the collection. Highlighter, I have plenty. Now, next, let us go. I almost dropped it. Let us go in with Amber Allure. Do I want to do Amber Allure? Amber Allure. But the fluffy. I'm going to start putting that into the crease, actually. Oh, this is like a warm... It's actually very warm. It's like a yellow... Yellow warm. You know what this kind of reminds me of, now that I'm looking at it? Bronze Dawn... Bronzer is what this is reminding me of. Huh. Because it has that yellow warmth to it. That yellow brown tinge, kind of. Where is it? I just had it. Bronze Dawn. You know what? Let me switch out to... Oh! I really, okay, this year I need to find a new fluffy brush. Maybe even go back to MAC to see if they still have this one. MAC 224, because this brush is epic. Had it for many, many years. Uh, yeah, this is, okay, this bronze amber is our amber don't. Aurora, amber Aurora. It's lagging a little bit. It's still buffering. Just a bit annoying. But okay, got it. So. So 
where we're at. I'm going to another brush. All right, so this one is dragging a little bit, that's for sure. Without the, or it's just my lids are getting more floppy. Now let's go into the smoldering bronze with our finger. As if we don't have enough bronze already from Pat McGrath. Well, this is cute. This actually has like a... Ah, it just looks familiar, actually. It actually looks like one of her other bronzes that she has. A, the color story from this is really giving me Divine Rose 2 vibes. That warm aspect from the palette. Well, that actually blended in quite well with the with the oh she's cute okay and I think that's about it for this tutorial literally this is it and then maybe a hint of the coral nectar on top if you wanted to Actually, let's do that. So, Coral Nectar. I'm going to put that in the corner. Just to give it a hint of some, some, some. This, I do want this to be an eyeshadow single. Single. Perfect. And in all honesty, I think that is it. I will probably go ahead and do the smoldering bronze on the bottom. <sighs> Eyeline. Extreme black, maybe, or maybe even a brown for the liner in my uh, inner waterline. I don't know. It just, it's very simple yet very, ooh. If you have blue eyes or green eyes, like this would definitely really pop out your eyes and it will definitely be like, uh, almost like a intense type of smoky brown. I could probably have amplified the smokiness if I went in with Blooming Sienna or Daring Desire. If I went in with either of these two, it would have made the uh, outskirts a little bit more dramatic, but I do love the subtleness. Getting ready for spring. Let me go ahead and do the rest of my face and we will see the final look in a moment. All right, so this is the final look. This is more, I think, natural lighting? Warm? Mm. No, that's warm. Keep it on natural. Um, let me turn this off so you can see. Whoa, this is natural lighting. <clears throat> She's cute. I went ahead and set up um, everything. So I went a little heavy on the bronzer. Um, I completely forgot of how intense the Burnish Honey is. Uh, for blush, I actually have on Sunset Bloom from here. I really didn't do highlighter, actually. I went ahead and put on, what is it called, Amber, Desert Amber first, and then I put on the blush on top, Desert Amber. <clears throat> Brows is still by Becca. So I went ahead and lined the eyes with the waterline with the Extreme Black uh, Permagel liner. Went in with the Amber Amber Ore on the bottom, smoked it out, a little bit of the Smoldering Bronze. And that is literally about it. Um, yeah, lips are Dior, <clears throat> the Ultra Care in 639. Just keeping everything subtle so we could keep the focus on the eyes. Uh, so far, I am digging this face eye palette. Only thing I hate about these palettes is that the blush starts to get into the eyeshadow. The eyeshadow starts to get into the blush. God, if I could open this properly. <clears throat> yeah, it just starts to really mix, which I really hate. Um, I personally would depot this. Maybe I should start depotting a lot of my palettes. Um, Christian Dior's Skin Glow and, and a 3N eyeshadow. 
concealer in LM11 from Pat McGrath. So yeah, that is <clears throat> really it. Uh, face set with Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray on Anastasia Beverly Hills <laughs> Dewy Setting Spray. Do I want to do lip gloss? No, we're not doing lip gloss today. So yeah, tutorial number three, keeping it simple because right after this, I need to take this all off and go straight to the gym. <clears throat> but it's very redundant, might I say. Um, like I said, this really reminds me a lot of the Divine Rose 2 bronze that's in there um that peach coral uh nectar coral is actually i really wish that was like a new highlighter because that is very beautiful i'd say for tan to deeper skin tones for sure most definitely um blush situation is very beautiful bronzers very beautiful uh definitely pigmented that's for sure depending on what kind of brush you use. But the fact that I'm able to use Burnish Honey and actually blend it out to the point where it gives a nice subtle hint of a bronze look. I love that. Um, yeah, so far so good. No complaints. Uh, I do love the fact that, I mean, this face palette, face and eye palette, look at, bags are gone, 21. 36 <laughs> so yeah I think I will do three more tutorials with this palette obviously there's quite a few tutorials you could do but like it's just redundant so because next will be my utopian dream palette focus with 15 tutorials with that one that's really, for spring and summer, I think those are really going to help get inspiration going, hopefully. But for the most part, uh, quad focuses, I think I am going to steer away from Pat McGrath for the rest of the year. Um, I do want to dive into the Fenty Beauty uh, Moroccan Spice Palette. Moroccan Spice, or is it just Moroccan Palette? The Moroccan. That one, beautiful, beautiful color curations with that one. And I don't think that one really got enough time or love to really go more in depth of how to break down the color stories and coming out with really cool tutorials also um, my naked three will be dropping out sometime this year i do want to do some strictly uh, complexion tutorials for men and how i do it for women um yeah this is gonna be a year of Stop buying makeup and actually playing with makeup a lot more and bringing more tutorials to the platform rather than reviews and a tutorial that we never see it again. I personally love to see how much looks you can really come out with a tutorial. But without further ado, I still can't get over this, this berry. <clears throat> if it's on sale, I highly encourage anybody, everybody, to oh, this blush. I wonder if they're gonna bring these as singles eventually into the line. Because what is it? Naked Peony, Midnight Orchid, and Sunset Bloom? Sunset Bloom. I do think these are definitely new, maybe for spring or summer. Because last year they did the cream blushes. Sorry. They aren't cream, they are. I forgot what they were called. Bomb. Bomb face sticks for eyes, lips, and cheeks if you wanted to. But for the most part, oh, I just love this. Love this blush. I do think Naked Sunset is a beautiful summer and spring blush color that should be necessary in everybody's kit. And essential to have and I actually do want to do more tutorials of like if you were to dive into a brand what should be the essentials it's gonna be kind of hard to do because a lot of the brands have really got rid of 
a lot of the OG stuff, you know, stuff that should have been staples or at least just sell it online because now it seems like every other month, every other week, every other quarter, there's a whole new collection. We're getting rid of the complexion line, bringing in something new, this and that, which is really annoying. But for the most part, I do want to dive into creating a curation of something specifically for you in a way. I probably will be doing some polls on my social media platforms of uh, like what brands you guys would like to see. Definitely Charlotte Tilbury, Pat McGrath, Urban Decay. I'm trying to think of who else I have. Oh. Anastasia Beverly Hills. I actually do want to dive in more into their uh, palettes that I have. Maybe even go back to the modern renaissance. OG man. OG modern renaissance. But see you guys next video and have a great day.